Taylor Swift and Post Malone might be the greatest thing in the world. Taylor Swift and Post Malone? We can't get enough of it. I'm just going to watch this for the next two hours. You do you. Okay. You know, for a guy who looks like a um, wrestling just broke fan. out of jail, he's got a <laughs> he looks like a wrestling fan. <laughs> he looks even weirder than a wrestling fan. He has quite a beautiful voice. Yeah. I mean, I heard. Who did I hear this from? How did they clean up his face? Is they he auto like the anti like fake tattoo thing? Probably. I forgot who I heard it from, but there was someone I was like working on a song and they were doing auto tune and apparently it doesn't work if you know how to sing. You get like learn how to sing <laughs> bad. <laughs> if I not told you like that's all I wanna do is like I I'm all sure there's a way, so it's probably not the only thing I want to do. But more than once, I've thought of the idea of us thinking, doing our own theme songs, but like just auto tuning the shit out of it until we sound like, I don't know, one of those, like Lil Wayne or something. Like we, you know. I like Lil Wayne. <laughs> of course you do, because he's auto tuned like awesome. True. All right, I'm I'm Michael. almost done watching the Taylor Swift. That's right. I'm sharing our uh, thing. Too That's bad we can't. Day. Too bad we can't play this because it'll just be instantly taken down. But I urge everyone to turn us off and <laughs> watch the new Taylor Swift video, <laughs> and then come back in four minutes. Make it eight minutes because you should watch it twice. It's that good. You watch it in double speed. You can watch it four times. I'm watching it on all three of my screens. Like, sort of like a round, you know, start at this moment, start at this moment, start at this moment. I've tried that with our videos before. I don't think it works. <laughs> Taylor's. Oh, really? I figured that's why we got like an extra penny. Just load <laughs> up our playlist on like all my accounts every night. I figured it'd be good for running some kind of ads. It's called Fortnite. Of course, you. that's why you're listening to it or watching it. I want to watch it. Taylor Swift is magical. Now it's your turn to watch it. It's not going to be as good with the sound off, I don't think. No, it's not bad with the sound off. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Now, this is an ad that I figure is just part of the music video. It looks. <laughs> this looks like it could just be part of the music video. It's from Target. Let's see. Oh, it is I Taylor. Can either is that Taylor? Click on Stardom Fan talking about All Star Grand Queendom. Or I can. Got to talk about. Ta Got to talk about the queen herself. Well, oh, that's that's marketing right there. How do you know? How do you know that like YouTube doesn't know about? That woman's a genius. All right, we got we got other things to do tonight. We got to watch the uh, Taylor Swift videos. <laughs> Every single Taylor Swift. So <laughs> six out of ten. Very entertaining. Six out of ten. Oh, it, only a six. Well, maybe if they've, you know what? Maybe if you had the sound on. <laughs> you know what? They could do like a silent movie where like they put the lyrics in, like just pause the video and put the lyrics in. That'd be that'd be good. Just trying to be inclusive. Oh, I was gonna say uh, I got I got my segue. Where's the part where she does her uh, takes her makeup off? Yeah. All right, now I gotta click on the Stardom fan thing. Ugh, I gotta get to work. We're a day late, a dime short. Just plaster, just just screenshot this thing and then uh, put this in the podcast photo oh is that'll that twilight get, dream here that'll get, that'll get some <laughs> the only person that would that would appreciate it what's that i said take this photo of taylor and that's like the thing we use for the podcast this week that'll get clicks <laughs> well done i don't know if that could go on youtube but it's the wild west on the uh the thumbnails for podcasts so that's fine difference i'm told is that like a almond um well salmon you told me it's a soft s it's like so almond Hi, Cole. Anyways. Hi, Dream. Hi, Juno. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> he's just gonna, he's gonna, he's just gonna keep, keep that up. Yeah, it's my segue. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as we record, is Friday, April nineteenth. Taylor Swift releases a new album, Pearl Jam, 
releases a new album. Whoever thought that sentence could be used on the same day and <laughs> the Stardom Fan Podcast goes live. I'm Mark. I'm Juno. That's Taylor. And if, it, if, if this is why we have to record at the 23 hour mark, because by the time you're done listening to 32 Taylor Swift songs and 16 Pearl Jam songs, it's finally time to sit back to the calm, soothing voices of your Stardom fans. <laughs> I don't know why Taylor Swift's face is plastered with DDP, but uh, I was trying to figure out a way to... my next tattoo. (laughs) Multiple DDP (laughs) tattoos. One that just says, bang! (laughs) Uh, I don't know. I saw a pair of playing cards, and I was like, huh, that's interesting. You know who else is an ace? Oops, that's a bad reveal. You know who else? Wait, you know who else is an ace of Marigold? Oh, I was also going to introduce uh, my co-host Junior as the leader of the Marigold fan club, the Stardom fan uh, edition of the Marigold fan club, something like hey. that. Hey, I'm not supposed to like. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'm the leader of the the Mary Gold fan club. Yeah, and consider well, and I think it equals out because I I understand that I'm in the minority in this. The fact that I don't give a shit about Mary Gold is equal to the fact that you can't get enough of it. And I understand I'm in the minority because I mean it's a whole entire Discord channel on StardomFan.com. Click on the Discord link, and it's all about all the Mary Gold news. So that's why you can. If, oh, if, if there's anything that piques your interest, feel free to let me and the buddies know. Is Juno fixing the Stardom Fan Podcast sign on his screen as we talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> there we go. It's going to go higher. <laughs> you keep this up, we're gonna th- they're going to think you really made a Stardom Fan uh, Podcast kill room. No comment. <laughs> uh uh-huh. yeah so if there was going to be a new segment i suppose i could allow i mean if i i don't know if it would retire the social media minute but if you would like the marigold minute to merge into it and then i think it's worth going over what looks like one of the greatest shows of the entire year all-star grand queendom is coming up in a, a short week and a half or so wrestlemania what's that it's all-star grand queendom season baby dude i thought like boy is stardom like just it's like the hits keep on coming right like we have queendom and then we just roll into the cinderella And then we just roll into all-star grand queendom it doesn't get any better stardom 2.1 is fantastic and then you just roll into five star. It feels like. <laughs> then you roll into five star, and then just slowly roll down, roll downhill for four or five months, and then you pick back up for tag league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a tag league. There's another tag league. Uh, yeah, there's always there's always something, but this is this is actually pretty a okay. <laughs> I mean, I did say that I was going to follow wherever Utami goes. It just so happens not to be the WWE, so that's cool, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's good. You plan on watching a show that's headlined by Nene and Julia. I can't wait for you to tell me everything that happens. Their show, they have sold out. I know it's just their first show. They have sold out Cork and Hall, and they are filling people in the like balcony sections that they're not supposed to, probably because of fire codes. So they're. You know, getting... I learned something. Yeah. Me and you could sell out Cork and Hall. Yeah, well, I think it has like <laughs> a fire code. Um, like only a thousand people are supposed to be in this building, but then that really means you can get up to like two thousand five hundred people as long as you don't tell anybody. Cause they're no one's actually supposed to be in the bleachers all the way up. It all goes the funnels through one door. <laughs> <laughs> it's on like the fourth floor, so you can't jump down. Anyways, what are they gonna have? Three matches? These idiots. Well, they um have sold out Cork and Hall for their first show, 
which they're adding more seats to. They've also they're gonna announce, I think May fifth, like the, <laughs> I'll we know the date. They're gonna announce they're doing like a fan event. They're gonna announce the rest of the card, but that show has sold out. Like <laughs> the, the car, the event where they announce the matches is sold out as well as the actual show itself. You want to know who else used to do that? Sell out all their press conferences and their first two shows? AEW. True. I mean, I'm just saying there's a pedigree for stuff. I, you know, I was thinking, um, I was listening to Dirty Dutch, and there was rumors of uh, Vince McMahon thinking that uh, maybe he'll start his own promotion again because he's a lunatic. And I immediately thought, Rossi's in love with that man. What happens when Vince whoa, McMahon whoa, whoa, is a new GM slander. of Rossi's Marigold? Slander. <laughs> Can't say that. <laughs> what did you call it? Marigold? Mary. I usually say things wrong. Did I say that wrong? I mean, you said it how it. Uh, Julia says. It's like The Rock. The Rock says. Julia. She also talks in third person. It's All right, let's get on with the Marigold minute. It's Marigold. Oh. Mari. Yes. So when they were all holding marigold flowers, that was just a lie? Yes. They were holding marigold it's, flowers? It's because Julia said... Not marigold. It's marigold. Very important distinction. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Does AEW have... Heart and soul. Uh, they had Cody and the Young Bucks, but not the Marister. How come they didn't trademark trademark all these idiots' names? Wouldn't that be funny? They just like Julia had to spell her name with a J or something. <laughs> the American and then, way. And, then, and, and, and yeah, I know. And then it finally made it so you could like look her up. God forbid. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just how you spell it in Italian. I'm along for the ride. Not s- it's so weird. Mariah says she's going to make a rock run all the way to the top with all her soul. All five people. <laughs> so you think they're gonna, do you think they're going to start out with like six belts? Like this is the Japanese way and just like everyone's going to have a belt? And they're all going to be like little sunflowers, cute little different color sunflowers. As long as she gets a belt. My Sakurai. My she Sakurai is... Leash? I don't know, because you can't see from like the neck down. But it looks interesting. Yeah, she's apparently stopped. Hello, her. all you commoners. The super lady of the ring, My Sakurai. So she's still a lady. I remember in like when she left stardom, she wasn't a lady anymore. Lady. And apparently Sakurai broke the internet. <laughs> she broke the internet. No. That'll happen. I'll conquer many more commoners just for you. Please excuse me. Oops. You're excused. And she does her pose. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I'm not going to go through every single person. Uh, I didn't know a couple of them. Oh, that was an interesting thing, too, about act. I can't say that. I, I, I could say Salmon better than I can say act, wrestle, girl, Z. But, hey, hold on a second, though. That's Sari Girls, uh, who's wrestling Juno on your screen on 520. She's also going to be at All-Star Grand Queendom. Or Julia. I like that, Sari. We've seen her somewhere before. Sari? I'm probably saying Sari wrong. Sorry. Hey, Andrew Richardson, we can start the show now, everyone. <laughs> yeah, she's wrestling <laughs> um, for the IWGP Joshi Championship. Oh, yeah, she might as well take it. Your former Stardom fan's former favorite rookie, which I can say happily now. Yeah, me too. Changed her name. She says... <laughs> oh, oh, really? That's actually pretty funny. She remembers, she says, who do you want to be with forever? Mayu-san, and then the next month she left. 
She's not just Yuzuki anymore. Victoria Yuzuki. Because <laughs> she is going to be the goddess of victory and the ace of marigold. Victoria means like victory. So is this marigold fans' favorite rookie? Um, I don't know, but she'll show you a match that you won't regret seeing. And now, yeah. is she going to get her passion injected into her? Yes. We've been over this. Mirai's heart and soul cancels out in the Nace passion. <laughs> For what it's worth, that take is, is just absolutely amazing. Like, I can't even argue with that, and I want to. <laughs> it's like, if you think that Nene <laughs> but, but has But it makes a, sense. You got me. <laughs> if you think Nene has a lot of passion. <laughs> and Mirai's got a little bit more heart and soul. Yeah, ordinary Mirai's got enough heart and soul to cancel that out. Um, Dude, you didn't you couldn't even remember Mirai's name when she was the white belt champion. Hey, did it was other Ami. <laughs> um, they also, if you can't get real Tam, you can get fake Tam Nakano all the way on the left here, which is better than no Tam Nakano. True. Maybe that'll be the world champion, just like that, like cardboard red belt, but like duct tape around the middle. It's like tape it would to be back hilarious. Out. I liked her. I mean, you got to get your start somewhere. Julia's little protege, protege. And then project. if you want to know what's sealed, this is this video is like this is why we're doing a marigold minute every week. Besides, it's what the start of fans want. Also, why why do they do English subtitles in in Stardom can't anymore? All the good stuff they did. Because if they did this uh, um, subtitles, no one would click on the subtitles we do quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> Take us right, two hundred views right off the top. God, bam! We can't be. We can't be, yeah, we can't be having that. <laughs> Cool, royal, and beautiful Utami Hayashishida. Marigold ace. I'm looking to take on many challenges in this new company, Marigold. Come on, X formally. See, it says Twitter.com. If I was on X.com, if you look at the, at the top here, if it said X.com, it would be running smoothly. Well, then why don't you go on X.com, loser? Because it still gives me Twitter for some reason. Oh. <laughs> I hope to show you a new Tommy that you've never seen before. Oh. What kind of Tommy is that? Since I'm such a handsome looking girl, my dream is to show people just how good looking I can be. I would argue that stardom got to keep the best half of Aphrodite. I would argue that Aphrodite lives on in all our hearts. Jeez, Juno, you are just kicking my ass with your positivity. This is so... I'm not used to this. <laughs> I'm trying to get you going, and you're just firing back at me with positivity. It's just not working. I can't bring you down. Are you probably holding... Your house is probably covered in flowers and marigolds as we speak. <laughs> Or Mirai Golds, or whatever we're supposed to call it. It's not called Mirai Gold for nothing. <laughs> uh, but the ace of Mary. Maybe it's your maybe it's your pink shirt. Maybe that softened you up a little bit. Salmon. <laughs> She's gonna fight anytime, anywhere. I'll continue to pursue my dreams and fuck up Mary Gold. Alexa, how do you say salmon? Just says, what language do I want to say it in? I, I give up, Alexa. It doesn't know. It thinks you're a, it thinks you're like a 14 year old Japanese girl half the time. <laughs> All this, the Joshi stuff. Easy now. <laughs> it's not my fault. Startup fans' analytics are a little messed up. There you go. That's the quote. <laughs> 
and yeah, she's she's going to be in the newest version of um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. She in the Marigold Ace in that movie? No, the Sweet Transvestite from Transsexual Transylvania. She's a vampire. <laughs> that nay. Which magazine is that, Juno? And why haven't you ordered it yet? Who says I haven't? Is that like um, the Tokyo, like one of those Tokyo sports that I I get off eBay uh, for way too much money? Yes. Oh shit! That, that, that's actually that's actually pretty cool. I I do okay. So I like do a, like collector's item. Cool to tell you the truth. I might have to pick that up, and I don't even like them. You want some? I don't know if you want to call this negativity. I'll give you two criticisms. One, one of stardom and one of Marigold right here. First of all, I'm pretty sure that Marigold already has more track suits than stardom. So stardom needs to <laughs> like pick it up. Like, Marigold's also got also all, eh, already has like double the track suits. Unless you're what Starlight you, Kid. What do you think about, how do you think the factions are going to break up? Um, I don't know. I'm interested to see the uh, act wrestle girls because apparently it's just a thing in Japan oh, yeah. that they're going to have to change with their contracts because um, apparently none of them were under contract for that company. And then, but they also said they couldn't work anywhere else. And then I think it's like a legit thing where at the press conference, like they didn't tell them that they were leaving and like half the roster just showed up at the press conference. I was like, can we wrestle for you? Oh, wow. Really? Cause this is the that that act wrestling was like what was pretty much Stardom's NXT from what I understand. A lot of our good girls came from there. Momo Kogo. That's enough. And others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah. So like that was a thing. Like half their like all their wrestlers just left because they weren't working there. Like, but they couldn't work anywhere else. And they're like, okay. Rossi's so, the Tony Khan style money mark. Apparently, everyone—they're all doing a run to him. All the all the people that can't work for a decent company like Stardom or TJP. I have one complaint with Marigold. <laughs> I'm still trying to get you going. I can't. I can't, I can't crack you today. <laughs> you do look vibrant. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe Friday's the night to hang out. Stupid, and actually, she—they they all just said Mary Gold, not Mariah Gold, or whatever the hell I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Maybe they were saying Mariah Gold because Mariah said it wrong, and they didn't want to make her feel bad. So you think they're even <laughs> in season there? <laughs> you think they maybe... look real? Like shit, I gotta pay how much and get them imported from the south? The south? Oh no, <laughs> change the name. <laughs> or do you think they did it the other way? What flower is in season? I'll have you know that the marigold is the state flower of Florida. Are you kidding me? It looks like a fucking dandelion. They're in my backyard right now. People pay money to have them ripped out and destroyed. My complaint. The state flower was the orange. My complaint. No Watanabe's here, unfortunately. (laughs) My complaint. Or sorry. Yeah, no Momos. No Momos. No (laughs) Momos. We don't get comomos. We have no momos. My one complaint is why is like first opportunity like Utami has got a, but well, she's got a, this bouquet of marigolds. Like she should be having a rose. If she, if they all ripped out marigolds and she slowly just did her gimmick and handed out a rose, fuck, they fucked up, Juno. But she did say, you know what. She did say you're going to see a new side of Utami Hayashishida. Like, this new side is that she comes out with the marigolds now. <laughs> One for everyone in the crowd. And oh, since she's no. such a handsome-looking girl, her dream is to show people just how good-looking she can be. And then, beat them in, and then beat them about the face and neck and body until they submit. 
Speaking of beating people about the face, neck, and body, did you know that Konami is officially an active stardom roster member? Yeah, so a few things happen, I guess, right? Um, That's well, a good I don't want to huh? jump in. It is a great segue to Queendom, but I had I had two more things to... I actually had some, some like, rants. Nice. But anyways, well, yeah. So she signed, Sayori signed, so as... People are big names are bouncing. Big names are getting scooped back up. Economy full time again. Stardom exclusive. Well, she was signed to Suki Ban, Sucky Ban, whatever it's called. And oh, that doesn't count. Well, apparently, <laughs> it shows you what their contracts are worth. She signed there, and the reports are that she like left a. Uh, she had a wrestling contract with someone in Tokyo, which probably Stardom. And then she signed with uh, Suki Ban, and then six days later, she was signed to Stardom again. So, did you ever hear the old, um, uh, what was that shitty deathmatch wrestling you used to like? Uh, the Mexican crazy stuff? Uh, crazy stars? It had like, it had like Penta. No, the actual. Uh, Fukuoka with crazy? No, not Japanese. The um, the, the actual show it was like a wrestling show, but it w- wasn't. It was like a TV show. It had like it probably had Rey Mysterio and like Pentagon and all those crazy assholes. Oh, and and like my goat Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, what was that called? Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Oh, me and me and uh, Richardson tied. <laughs> Anyways, it's like the opposite of their contracts. I mean, technically, I think everyone who wrestled at Lucha Underground like had to <laughs> sign in blood that they had contracts for life. They're like, no, you can't. Like they're, they're like Andrade had to uh, like cut off uh, his pinky toe to to get out of that contract or something like that. I actually liked Lucha Underground until I started watching the matches and I was like, oh, I don't like Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's good. It's nice to see some big names coming through. Uh, I had two things before we hop into All Star Queendom, which actually is something funny I just noticed about All Star Queendom is that it's not just All Star Grand Queendom; it is Runaway Wrestler presents All Star Grand Queendom 2024. How much are they kissing Mayu Iwatani to keep her around? Um. Can I say? She and I, if I heard that, unless Mayu's just real a real good politician, have I heard that she actually said she wants to stick around? Um. Well, she is the champion of all Joshi. It's hard to pass up. That is true. Um, real quick, I had two things. So I watched, and it, well, it seems like Stardom World um went back to their old ways of just like uploading shows. I don't know five, six days after they're uh, released. Which Mm -hmm. I guess is fine for house shows. I mean, they sort of set the precedent last time when they had the really big shows um, last month where they did them live. So that's fine. But anyways, so I'm I'm catching up. I'm watching 413. Lady C is fighting, um, is opening the show up against Rana Yagami, right? And I'm just assuming Lady C is going to lose because that's what she does. I would have you know, Juno, Lady C has a new finisher. And she finally put those 177 centimeter thighs to work. It's a submission move where, like, no, not the thighs. That's a a meta. See a doctor. Your thighs are 177 centimeters. I figure that's what you you always said it was. (laughs) No, it's her ass. Oh, well, she's put that's a good work, too, because basically she has like a she does the doki chokey or like a guillotine or something. And she's got the legs and she's choking and yeah, taps her out with those big ass legs. Finally putting that size to use. Nice. Nice. Also. Is Starlight kid. The new face. Eh, all right. Two questions. Has Starlight kid always been the face of stardom. And is she definitely the new face now? Um, she did the CMLL like Fantastica Mania show with Ruaka. She has other great shows in between and flies to Philly, wrestles 
at least two times there, becomes your new Spark Joshi champion, then, mm-hmm. for shits and giggles, is the only one to hop back on a plane, get her ass to Taiwan, to wrestle in a New Japan show, to have a match of the night against Hanako, of all people. Like, this girl is everywhere. True. I guess that was my point. Like, you could, there's no stop and start like it. She is a marketing machine. And they still don't sell those masks for some reason. Like, dude, if you, especially in Japan, like, don't they have, I know for a fact that there's mascots in Yabri City because of uh, Kumlop, the bunny from Yakuza. So there's no reason why every single city she's in, she's not wearing like a mask with their colors or their flag on it that she can't be selling in the merch stands. Like, come on. That's just printing money. (laughs) <laughs> and what she is, you did point out that she, uh, I, I just love, you know what? I didn't, I didn't uh, pause long enough to see the Taiwan if she had a special match for that, but I'm sure she did. Cause I remember you pointing out like she had a, a, mad, a mask with an American flag on the back. Um, I will also let you know that Starlight versus Hanako is the best women's New Japan match that has ever happened yet. And we've, like, seen Kyrie and Tam and all that other bullshit that got three minutes. Like, I don't know if it just felt that way or, like, it felt like a proper match. But they at least got ten minutes, if not <laughs> more. Or, like I said, it felt that way. But, like, it didn't feel rushed. They got all their shit in. Hanako looked great. So, I mean, I'm really happy to see that. And, oh, my God, and the difference between the two, oh, yo, Starlight Kid versus Hanako, it's like Starlight came up to her chest barely. Like, that was a fucking, um, that was amazing. <laughs> and yet Starlight still will talk all that shit, all that good shit. Well, she basically did, and after the, well, they did a backstage thing, and she basically said, she's like, you may be this much taller than me, but, you know, she started talking about the height and how it didn't matter, and she still ran circles around her. It was great. What was Mayu's last defense of the of that IWGP belt? You remember? She just did it, didn't she? It's like, or I... was it? Is the last time she fought that uh, girl that beat Julia? Because that's the girl that broke her pinky. Was that her last defense? Was the pinky match? No, she had to have had one since. That was forever ago. Mina, Stephanie Balquez. Mina Shirakawa. Mina, Mina should have won. Well, that match, yeah, that match. It, it seemed like they. Oh, that was match of the month. Yeah. Duh. And it would have been. That's just like they already move a mile a minute to where like five minutes in, or when they say like five minutes have passed, like holy shit, I've seen eighty-five wrestling moves already. Like they move so fast, but it seemed like they were going through like on what would have been a stardom main event, like. 35 minutes and they had to get it done in like 15 so they're like moving on like double speed but i was wondering um like mina isn't gonna take maybe they told her like hey you have 30 minutes and mina was like all right well after uh i take my 15 minute entrance and then mayu does her 15 minute entrance we have eight minutes left for the match (laughs) something like that and that's actually the perfect example because I do remember we talked about that after at the time. I love the match, and you were a little cold on it because you thought it felt rushed and it rushed, and New Japan fucked them again. And that's the exact like Mina and Tam, or Mina and uh, Mayu should be the greatest thing ever, and it was one of the greatest matches. But it could have been better. But, <laughs> yeah, but like they like Hanako and Starlight had time. Like like you know, maybe it's because they were in Taiwan. They're like, eh, show them women. <laughs> show, them, show them what women can do. Is Taiwan the nation that is it like that island that doesn't exist or it's not a country? All I know is, is that, that like if you look on like under like um your hats or you know where stuff is made, if it doesn't say made if it doesn't say made in China, it usually says made in Taiwan. So they're doing something right. But if I look on like a map like from the China makes, is it like just a is it not on the map? No, I think that's the other place. Hong Kong? <laughs> the other other place. Marigold. 
There was that one time John Cena called the country a country, and then he had to apologize for it. He had to learn Mandarin. (laughs) (laughs) He moved to China to learn Mandarin. (laughs) That's how you apologize. That's where that's where John Zena comes from with an X instead of a C. And a few short and a few short years later, he's on the uh, Grammys or Emmys or whatever that's called. Naked, he's <laughs> what a winner. <laughs> Our Apollos is here. It's time to start the show proper for the second or third time. <laughs> that's where this hey, meme popped buddy. up, Comrade Zena. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, but as, you know what? You know what? His social credit score went through the roof. Of course it did. Probably some carbon credits too while he was at it. Word life. Anyone who's not in our Discord, go to startupfan.com and click on the Discord link and watch hockey with Apollos. We'd be watching hockey with him right now, but our time slot is already booked for this. <laughs> Did you have anything else? Yes. Oh no, you said Hanako. You had two things. Hanako, Lady C has like a her big ass has a big ass finisher. Yeah. Nice, which she nice. uses to choke a, choke women out with her ass. Well, no, it's more thigh. like a doki doki oh. slash guillotine, like the, like the real move, like the guillotine where you like you wrap the legs and you grab the arm. I don't know how it chokes you, but apparently it does. So coming from Lady C, however, if the ref was paying attention, she was pinning herself the whole time. But instead, Ronnie Yag- Yagami got the got the pin. Why don't you just fucking throw it up there real quick? I can't do this justice. <laughs> why don't you see it? Why, why, why don't we do this? Come on, and then we'll go to Queendom. I'll, I'll even get to I'll, I'll even get to the thing. So when you click on it, it'll go over there. Just don't share my password online, would you? Jesus, it's always something. What? 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 Oh, I don't know. Hold on. What am I doing? All right, so you just got to go to the match. It was on four thirteen. Oh, she also, actually, also before that, it was pretty cool, too. She did the, um, oh, yeah, so you might as well go there. She did the Alexa Bliss pin at the nine minute and six second mark. I don't know what that, she did a sparkle splash? No, she did the Alexa Bliss mounting Randy Orton pin. I think there's a gap in my wrestling knowledge. (laughs) No, there isn't. Come on, you watch that on repeat. (laughs) (laughs) I was watching that match in Discord because uh, we were talking about the worst matches we've ever seen, and someone brought that up, and I'm like, you know what? It was bad live, but like when you watch some, which what uh, show was it from? Was that your WrestleMania? Oh, 13th. Yeah, nine and minutes and six seconds. It was like we were all just la- like it was so bad, we were all just laughing about it. Where it's like this is we not there. like this is not real. <laughs> And then, like, watching it back on TV, I'm like, wow, this is so much worse. <laughs> yeah, just let it play. Look at that producing. <laughs> yeah, I got you right there, baby. <laughs> I don't try to get this to play on 7, 720p. That's where we got to go. My state's hockey team. I think this Buffalo Sabres are breaking the record for most – 13 years, no playoffs. How is that even pl- possible? You accidentally make the playoffs in hockey. Oh, Rana Yagami. <laughs> oh, no elbow drop. Oh, no, but here we go. Boom. Boom. Right. in. That's why. Right into it. <laughs> Those hips don't lie, dude. Na 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 <laughs> Oh, roll her over. Not done with her yet. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. My God, she's gonna, I know she's going to break her. Going to snap her neck. <laughs> Basically, she, I think she ends up giving up before she rolls her over again. I'm like, she's like, that was dangerous. Lady C just tapped out. <laughs> what do you think? Lady C with a new finisher, huh? How do you like that? Well, the new leader of Queen's Quest has to step up. I was going to actually say the same thing. As of as of that match in Stardom 2.1, the leader of Queen's Quest is undefeated. Dude, I just like, it's like a real gunshot. Like, like I heard, you, you hear the gunshot, and I'm like, mute, 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 mute. 
<laughs> for you guys that don't know, like we used to use Lady C's song for like our <laughs> intro because it's the most badass song ever. And it would get like copyright strikes like after like two seconds. So it's like one second of music after that gunshot. So the second we hear that gun like cock back like uh, Arn Anderson or uh, mm. the FTR, it's like mute, mute, mute. <laughs> how come Sia? Uh, oh, she did a little tiny clap. I was like, how come they're not happy for their like new leader? Is that a storyline? Is there tension for the throne? Queen's I have a feeling that Queen. <laughs> you think they're gonna have a new Queen's Quest like leader match? Oh, oh she... look at that! A Lady C. Oh, we got Lady C fans. <laughs> She's a Sia wearing fan. a Sia Kamatani <laughs> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if she like just put her signature over it, just a big LC. <laughs> um, <laughs> after and this is the first show I watched after like all the look at that. I like that little LC uh, lady C uh, picture that they made. That's cute. Um, but this is the this is like culture shock. This is the first show I saw after all the Philadelphia weekend stuff, and even the Taiwan show was like filled the capacity. was was like a pretty neat setup. <laughs> and then I get to this, I'm like, oh, right back to Japan and the gymnasiums. Dude, what Love the hell it. is wrong? Like this guy is like a human being. Like why isn't this guy even like looking over? It's like a strip club. No eye contact. No eye contact. No eye contact. <laughs> like at least are you the opposite are no. you the creepy guy that doesn't check out the hot girl and just stares at her in the face i'm trying oh they cut away i'm trying to see if the guy who's not looking because sometimes like if they're in like the entryway and they walk by they don't really look at him but as they start passing by their phones are like click 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 well that's interesting <laughs> apollo says the nhl could write off the capitals making the playoffs as a charitable donation well, it works for NPR. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you get a kick out of that. All right, under the main event, ladies and gentlemen. No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> because well, yeah, you could do your intro, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It is time for the preview. And if we do anything well, we fantasy book the way. See, reviewing shows are boring because they rarely turn out the way we want them to. However, previewing a big event is always magical because, you know, we're, we're going to book it the way we want to. And we have Runaway Wrestler presents All-Star Grand Queendom 2024. Damn. And this is amazing. This might be one of those shows. You know how usually you go through the lineup and you're like, oh, shit, we went through it backwards because like the fur, the like curtain jerker is always the best match. That might be happening here. Well, since it's presented by Runaway Wrestler, I figured there's some new news on that and we got to cover a Runaway Wrestler. Yeah, let's get into that. First of all, this is amazing. Um, I, I guess the you know, baseball, it's it's ba Why is Japan like pseudo America with some things? Like they're the only other country that watches baseball. Mayu and is love it. Going to be throwing the first pitch for the Bay Stars official game in Yokohama, and she's been oh. <laughs> she's been posting. Uh, Videos of her training to throw her first pitch for like weeks and weeks. She's been throwing forever. Does that mean she's got to like throw it past the first row? Dude, it's not, not her, only this. It's but not once her again, fault. It's this poor girl going out in front of a bunch of baseball fans in full gear. They always do this. Of oh, course. Cool. How else would you recognize her? <laughs> Does a WWE star throw the first pitch? Does John Cena throw the first pitch out in jorts? Well, okay, that's his normal pose, right? <laughs> But you know, you know what I mean, dude. If you were Randy Orton, you're not going to the grocery store with like before you get out of the car. You have the baby oil, and you're like lathering yourself up, dude. If I looked like Randy Orton, I'd have my speedo trunks on now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like listen, we're we're talking apples and oranges at this point. <laughs> so if you looked like Mayu Watani, you'd be wearing a f fuzzy pink tail. I don't know. I just fear that sometimes women can be objectified 
men want to be objectified. That's what I think. I think the difference is. I think she's objectively the goat. Fair. You got me again. <laughs> You're not going to get me this week. No, I can't. I can't. I, I, I'm still trying. <laughs> it's the shirt. It's <laughs> the big shirt for the win. <laughs> And and hopped up on Pepsi too, huh? I can't. You're not even drinking moonshine. And you're in a good mood. Well, I always got moonshine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's because we started the day off with a Taylor Swift video. Is that the new way to start off the show? Um, maybe. <laughs> Who is the runaway wrestler? My like, who's the actress? Is it is it someone we know? Oh. Wasn't it going to be Komomo or your girl Yuri or something at, at one point? Momo Kogo is in the movie. I just don't know who has who. I think. Oh, she's um. I don't know the the history of like early early stardom. Like I think whoever Rossi and I could be like totally like this could be out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure that Rossi started stardom with like and the and the wrestler who was like the first white belt champ, I believe was like the person he started it with and kind of like ran the training and backstage shit while he ran like the business side. And I think that's who Momo Kogo plays. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad she's in there. I know that Shuri, all I know is that Shuri plays uh, Kagetsu. How good of is that? Oh (laughs) man, I can't wait to see her. Like, uh, do you think she, she has to have the makeup and stuff, right? Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna look so badass! I almost wanted to come out like that now. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna look so cool. I think someone already went through because on our Stardom fan Discord, everyone. Wait! Whoa! 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 Sorry! Whoa! 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 I'm sorry for cutting you off. Cast. Just reading through the cast, but it's uh, blah blah blah, like Momo Kogo, Tanaka, Mako. Ishino, Ana, Harai, Natato, HG, parentheses, Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon's the in the guy? movie? <laughs> the bad guy? Yeah. So now I, that sounds like... That's <laughs> well, now we gotta watch this. Does that sound like um, my you need to spice up your story a little bit? She's like, and then... <laughs> she's, I'm sitting in my room crying and I hear, oh no, Chico... <laughs> Uh, oh, they got the trailers already. I was going to say, because on our Stardom Fan, uh, uh, we have a channel in our Discord. Link in the show notes or on stardomfan.com. Uh, where it is a plug your stuff. Where a lot of people just like put over other people's stuff, which is, you know, what I uh, I like to see. You know, we're all friends and Stardom Fan family here. Mm-hmm. Just got to put over us, too, while you're at it. But I did <laughs> see that there was a whole bunch of stuff for the movie that uh, was subtitled. I just thought the movie was out already. I was like, I'm going to read this whole thing. I'm going to read the movie. <laughs> What's your favorite book? My use biopic. <laughs> Kyrie's in the movie. I'm done. Thanks. Twilight dream. <laughs> I think Ruined she is. Me. I think she has like a cameo. I, they asked her if she wanted to as play her, her... as herself. Only as that a, bitch as a janitor. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what a cameo would be that you're not herself. <laughs> She's just walking through the back, like wearing her Gucci, looks at the camera and keeps walking. It's like, I don't feel good today. I can't wrestle. And then just keeps going and keeps walking all the way to America. I don't know how much work she put into her own movie, but Sherry seems like she put in a hell of a lot of work. Remember all those press conferences she missed while she was like training <laughs> like these actors to wrestle? Dude, is that all that like crazy training stuff she did too? Was that for the movie? Is like, is this uh, Jackie Chan action scene stuff going on? Oh my god! Uh, I hope that like there's parts of the movie where she's just like it just switches to Mayu just fantasizing. It's just like <laughs> Shuri is Jackie Chan. I'm just like um I'm, like Yakuza. I all Shuri all the time. I keep saying Yakuza, like like a dragon, like the main character, like imagine stuff and like instead of being in a street fight with punks they turn into like dragons and stuff and no one else sees his craziness i have a feeling my watani's brain works like that it is chicken
<laughs> I see. I see. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. I saw your finger. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> All right. They put, yeah, this is our trailer. I haven't watched this yet. This is our trailer. これは女子プロレスラーになりたくて。Hey, it's Yuri. What? Oh my god. Komomo the, 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 the mean girl? Why is Komomo crying? Oh, this is sad. Aww. The head guy. They're gonna make me like him in this movie. My place has always been here. Oh, shit, she's gone. <laughs> she gone. All right, she, look at. I want this Shuri. How do you get tickets to this? <laughs> right. What a great movie. <laughs> it's on Netflix. What a great movie. I love, it's like, yeah, <laughs> already. I'm in. You got me. Huh. Jacob Howard's like the first person to go back down. Our boy Jacob Howard's like right up there in the tweet. Oh, is that because you follow him too? I don't know how Twitter works. Probably. I don't know how it works either. And he's look. got a blue check mark. Man, Jacob Howard. Jacob Howard's everywhere. You can't stop that guy. I think you just pay Twitter like five dollars a month, and like you get a check mark. Which it almost seems hey, like. Hey, it, he's official. Hey, put him at the top comment. It it Jacob almost. Jacob Howard, my favorite wrestling fan. I think it lets other you than like the guys in the chat right now. I think it lets you like edit your tweets and stuff too. But like that almost seems like blackmail. It's like well. If you you're, don't... To edit, you're able to edit your tweets, then how are you supposed to get canceled in 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> how are you supposed to say something offensive on accident? Well, people were saying that about, like, paying, and now you can, like, edit your tweets. I'm like, all right, well, what if you like a tweet, <laughs> and then someone's a troll, and they decide to just, like, put something heinous, and, and then they, like, screenshot that you liked it and just <laughs> share, shared it? <laughs> Yo, that's brilliant. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's like if you don't pay the five dollars so that people know that you're you, someone else can pay the five dollars and they can be you. <laughs> what did Yuri play? I didn't see. I don't notice her as much. I'm not the fucking Yuri super fan like you are. Is right. that her doing yeah. setups? Look at yeah. that. <laughs> How did you fucking go right to her? <laughs> How many times have you watched this fucking trailer? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that was good. <laughs> Did you find something better for the match? Like, did they actually have their opponents t yet? Because this is just the on their news site. This is like from their press conference. Just says Konami, Shuri, and Ami versus opponents to be decided later. <laughs> to be found. To be dragged to the ring later. Yeah, I actually half thought when I first saw that I was like, "All right, well, they got no one else to fight tonight. I guess it's God's eye." They just like fighting. They're going to fight each other. But yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize as we head to the main event and Runaway Wrestler presents All-Star Grand Queendom 2024. The show opens with God's Eyes, Magnificent Ami, Konami, full-time stardom, and Shuri versus whoever they can <laughs> drag to the ring, like kicking and well, screaming. Hey, Sugar Puff. What do you, well, maybe we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out by who's not on the show by the time we're done. Or watch it just be, oh, you know what's great about, you know what's great about Marigold? I don't have to worry about fucking Nene coming back and being one in this match. That's what's great about it. 
you're lost. You'll never get to see another passion interjection ever again. Hey, if Shuri wants to start injecting the passion into the rookies, she might as well start at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's we could. What are these oh, I'm not gonna play that. Bring it but on. There was a video. I think it was to like your former fa favorite rookie. Victoria Yuzuki, but uh, they were showing like their training, and Yane was like bullying this girl in the train in their their training. And I'm like, is this like hazing? Like it was like that's fucked up. Yane's no good. Like she was actually make she was like screw. <laughs> I got I'll find I gotta find it now at this point. While you're looking for that, Juno is I I do understand that Utami leaving to Mary Gold is the only thing that matters. But like everything else, like picture a world. So I'm looking at the opening match for um All Star Grand Queendom and we have Ami who was one half a new era. Like if we were living in the world where Ami jumped ship and Mirai stayed, not nearly as good, right? It's not called Ami like, Gold. <laughs> yeah, they did call it Mirai Gold for a reason. I mean like we got like stardom is like is, is still winning obviously i mean we got magnificent ami they got ordinary mirai the child of the soul with the south paul lariat i do i do like that south paul lariat though i'm not gonna lie the talent of the century and i think that i th and, she, and, she, and she was born uh yeah, the I actually really like those cards. I want to download every one of those pictures. I want to make posters out of those. <laughs> We're gonna put that in cardstock and sell those posters. She's the talent of the century. <laughs> I think. I, th I think she 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 was born in the '90s, so maybe they mean like it, she's like the still talent of the century from like the '90s when like wrestling was like at its peak. No, the past century, like of the past hundred years. Yeah, like the yeah, '90s, yeah. '90s, '80s, like Ric Flair, who, all all the way to the Depression, 1920s, hundred years ago. No one's been better. Ever. Ever. Why doesn't Nene look like she's sweating just from looking at the camera? Because they probably filmed it right after this video. Oh. Nene's training Marigold? Well, they we posted... this is Rossi's basement? <laughs> no, because there's people that are walking like by on the street. Huh, I had this discussion with uh, my boy because he's like, I want to do wrestling school. I'm like, you might as well just go to the dojo. I'm like, what is it about Japanese wrestling where it's like they talk about the dojo? It's like they do 12,000 squats before breakfast. I'm like, well, I guess you got <laughs> it's all in the thighs. Got to have and that endurance. Tumbling. Yeah, this, you know, I've never seen a wrestler do any of those training moves. Maybe it's because, like, they're so used to it. They just, why bother? All right, I was trying to find this one specific section. Like, I mean, you'll probably hate on Nene, so it'll be good for it'll be good for you. Apparently, we're going up against a YouTube live stream. Our timing is horrible. Of what? Stardom and Crazy Star versus Kurara. Kiss, kiss, kiss. That's all right. We got we got things to do. We're not gonna outdraw we'll Kurara. <laughs> We're going to talk about Kurara next. She's the next match on All-Star Grand Queendom. Um, I mean, oh, there's just one part of the, yeah, like right here. Like they're doing their training and their exercises and whatever. I think it might be right here. The Nay just starts like, it looks like they're legit. Stretching her. Gra yeah, she just starts making her like scream. And it's like, that. that is not cool. Also the people right here, hopefully yeah, the video will catch up. Just watching from the outside. <laughs> Well, she might be. That's old school. You got to have the fucking veteran stretch the rookie. Like, I can't tell. And there's Rossi in his WrestleMania hoodie. Fucking Mark. Oh, she takes over. Let's see. Where is it? She starts making her, like, scream. <laughs> Like, that doesn't sound like training. <laughs> Notice how, like, Mariah lets go. Yeah, well, Mariah's a professional wrestler. Lene's been shooting for fucking 
25 years. No one's like fucking smartened her up yet. Also, what's funny is. <laughs> Remember that time Marai fought N Nene and like left in such a piss attitude? Dude, <laughs> like, I'm gonna. I am they gonna, don't like each other. I'm gonna leave the sound on so that you can. <laughs> it's gonna be funny for me when you have to go back and like edit this and just cut out Nene's screeching. Oh, I actually like the sound in the background whenever we do it. Like the wrestling noise in the background actually makes for, for good podcast audio. Oh, so I <laughs> that's probably not not you're all right. Probably not a day screeching though. <laughs> Something that I thought. Oh was... shit! Andrew Richardson, the first one to say, "Yo, happy 420, bro." That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even legal in Florida, you backwards fucking. We just got. State. We just got sports gambling. Oh really? See, we have sports gambling in New York, but that's just so New York can like take all their welfare money back from <laughs> it's just all the people they gave it to and like Isn't it just like <laughs> isn't it just like money laundering for the state where it's like the the Indian reservations are allowed to do gambling, but then anytime the state needs money, they're just allowed to take it somehow I, from the from this. the tribes. Isn't that how, like, I, the Buffalo Bills got a new stadium? It's like, yeah, we're going to take 75% of the cost to build this thing straight from taxing the reservations. Like, what? It's absolutely insane, actually. If you pay attention to, like, any place other than maybe, like, Jersey and Las Vegas, like, New York is big on it, and I'm sure it happens elsewhere. But our casinos are legal in, like, two of the poorest sections, like, of the cities. It's like all they it's like they purposely just like rob from the poor people. That's all they do. These fucking assholes. But anyways, that's a different tangent. Well no <laughs> congratulations on four twenty and being able to sports gamble because it's playoff season. Did you put any did you make your first bet on the Tampa Bay Lightning? Yeah, if I just I'm gonna start betting a, like a dollar in every game they play or whatever the minimum is and like I probably will come out on top at the end of the season. Here's a funny gambling story. I only like I, I got guys at work that are playing with hundreds. I play with dollars, like because I have the gambling app. Um, and actually, uh, keep an eye on it because when it first went legal in New York, they were just throwing money out. They were like, "Well, double your bet for like everything." So, you know, I it was when the bills were good um, and won a bunch of games uh, two years ago is when it went legal. So they were like, uh, we'll match your bet. So it was like up to $200. So it was like, I put in 200 and they matched 200 and then I put on the bills to win. So I had free money and then I cashed out. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, so I usually do good in hockey playoffs. Cause I always bet Tampa and I do good in baseball season. And then I, I cash out and then whatever, I leave a little in for football season and I lost everything because I can't gamble football for nothing. Mm -hmm. This is a true funny story is that I started this year's baseball season. Like I was going to put like 20 bucks in, but I had 65 cents left in my account. I have now turned my 65 cents into $26 betting on baseball, mainly the Orioles. <laughs> That's like better. Than it is. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, cause I, I was like, it was all 65. I doubled that. And then I bet like I doubled that and then I bet a dollar here, a couple dollars there. Next thing you know, it's like, yeah, 65 cents. Like, you know, if you think of that in real money, I mean, and like $65 to whatever that, but anyways, still, that is pretty fun. That I'm doing the math. I don't know. I know it's better in the stock market. <laughs> Apollo is play some bets on Aussie rules football. I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, the odds are there. Sometimes I just don't even watch the game. I'll just like look it up and be like, yeah, I'll put five bucks on Toronto tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie Smart. rules football. It's like, I don't even know how to watch it, but I'll put five bucks on it. What the hell? <laughs> I also noticed like a couple other things for this video. Like I like the people just are like on the, the street, just watching them train. Like, <laughs> You can just, you're like, is that in a basement somewhere? I'm like, no, it's just out on the street, and there's, like, people watching. Yeah, I'm trying to see the logo. It's definitely, it's like a, it's definitely like a gym or a, a dojo, but, I mean, it obviously has a legit ring in there, so they have some kind of wrestling training right there on Main Street, Japan. Oh, the other thing I thought was funny in this video, for some reason, like, they're, oh, I don't know her name, but Mariah's wrestling somebody. Nene's wrestling Yazuki. 
And then Utami is like the referee. She's like, break, break, rope. <laughs> like, not that the Nate listens to any of it. But she's murdering this poor girl. And then Utami's like, rope, 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 rope. <laughs> then turns back to Mariah and she's like, nah, she's good. Hair, 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 hair. Like, why is there a referee? Tommy's a shitty referee. No, she's a good. She's <laughs> just doing what. She's got her back turned to the literal murder, and she's watching the two professional wrestlers. She's like, "This is easy. I'll watch this." She's training too. I've never <laughs> seen a referee that's that like catches that kind of stuff. <laughs> Have you? Oh man. No, I guess you're right. <laughs> The people are stopping because they're wondering what all this fucking screaming is as they're walking down the street. <laughs> yeah, there are there murders happening in here? And then they spur an EO sky shirt. Is there murder hap Oh, whoa, oh my god. I can watch this for like ever. Like it's one of those things where I just like will watch <laughs> like and point point stuff out like your time you got her robe dry cleaned. <laughs> Jesus Juno. Is that a, that's a new robe, I think. That's a marigold robe. It's got more gold in it. Marigold. gold. Mariah right, before gold. we move Sorry. on, uh, Andrew Richardson says, it's legal, uh, they must be talking about 420, it's legal to have, consume, and grow in Ohio, but you can't legally buy it. It reminds me of an, or, an old George Carlin. Selling's legal. Fucking's legal. Why isn't selling fucking legal? Selling what? Fucking. That's his joke on prostitution. I'm assuming Richardson's talking about growing and, you know, the weed stuff. So, you know how you said that they we read these cards backwards and the main event's always, like, the first card of the match and it just gets... All right, so I believe the main event is the second card of the match. But... I, don't, uh, I haven't found anything. I tried to see if I can find who they're facing, but Shuri, <laughs> Konami, and Ami. Dude, you put Ami. them against anyway. Well, who's the trios champ? Maybe they're going to uh, wrestle for the, the trios. The Nexus Venus. Shuri said that, or no, sorry, Konami. Shuri said to Konami, I'm happy that you're back <laughs> and that Mirai has graduated from God's Eye. So it's like, is God's Eye... She said graduated. No, that's bad tradition. That's bad translation. Like graduated means like, yeah, she just left. You know, you graduate high school. Like even the, the D student graduates high school and goes to be a janitor. That's about what she meant. Does she get a diploma? <laughs> she got a kick in the ass, probably. <laughs> Hopefully sure he gave her a black eye on her way out. <laughs> Konami's return is great for stardom and for God's eye. Read. Juno, what would I tell you? Wait. Juno, what would you say if I told you that the main event was for the future of Stardom Championship? Rena defends against challenger Sayaka Kurara. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> The awkward pause means I'm waiting for you to hit the soundboard. <laughs> oh, I see you looking for it on your screen. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> oh, no. Did I lose you completely? What's going on? Judo! I have to <laughs> reload my soundboard. I, 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 <laughs> I was waiting for the kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, I thought we had it all loaded up. Listen, I've never wanted... I, I don't think I've wanted... Re re to lose a title match yet and I probably still don't think she should because she should get right up to Hanan's record and maybe beat it however Kurara come on <laughs> Kurara oh Richardson's got the got the, the point Kurara should beat Hina first like Rina should be the final boss right I mean, Hanan's obviously the final boss, but the future final boss. I think that name is, is uh, you just got to claim it. 
just like <laughs> the rock just said he's the final boss. Wait, he said he was the final boss. Oh my god. Somehow Somehow the rock tried to weasel his way into the main event of WrestleMania and that didn't work. So in Of course it worked and he won. Oh yeah, night one. <laughs> of course it worked. <laughs> like like they had to switch it back to Roman and Cody, but then he's like, "All right, if I can't be in the main event and win at WrestleMania, I want to berate and beat on Cody Rhodes every single week <laughs> for the next 6 weeks." And then what does Cody get as uh, payback? Like nothing. I'll get tombs. I'll get a choke slam from the Undertaker. <laughs> like Cody never got him back for beating his ass with a belt and making him bleed. He's the final boss. You can't beat the final boss without a cheat code. <laughs> oh. Who do you who do you think wins that? Did you know? Rena versus Kurara. Well, this is Rena's like ninth defense or getting damn near up there. She's very close to Hanan's record. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read these. Tr- <laughs> that would be more interesting. I'm like, I don't understand. I'd have to actually like see what they're saying to like understand like their translations better. I, th- I think I was going to have something to say. Yeah, as Kurara says, well, I haven't won my, my, I haven't gotten my first win by myself yet. <laughs> but Rina doesn't have to be better. Sorry, Kurara doesn't have to be better than Rina as a wrestler. She just has to be better for three seconds. And I think you have a new Futures champ. Let's do it. <laughs> I, I'm really excited for this show, other than this next match. Juno, what if I was to tell you that Meltier is going against some really old ladies. Aja Didn't Aja Kong, Kong just like end up in the WWE Hall of Fame or something weird like that? I think I saw her in Philly. <laughs> what the fuck's happening here? Because this is the match, too. This is the type of match that like fucking Meltier is going to lose. I think she. Well, it's just Tam with her peers. <laughs> I think I did. I think I saw Isaac oh, Kong get the fuck out of here. I think I got. Are you saying Tam's the old woman here? She's like a, th- a thousand and eighty-two. I think I saw Isaac Kong getting a cheesesteak. Wow, that's believable. Hello, everyone in the universe. I'm Tam Nakano, cutest idol wrestler in the universe. Not liar. True. And then. Yeah, why is this match happening? Because Tam, let's see, Natsupoi. I'm Natsupoi. Hi, Tam Chan wants to have a cute showdown with Aja San this time. That's why this match is happening. She wants to have a cute contest with Aja Kong. Tam wants to prove she's cuter than Aja Kong and Karu Ito. Yeah. All right, well, I'm not mad at her. What else is there to say? (laughs) It's baffling. The fourth match of the show is another title match. It is for the IWGP Women's Championship. Mayu Iwatani. Defense her belt. Yeah. Sari? Sari? Sar. Sar. Sa? Re? I've only seen a few, a little bit of her, and I like her. And I hope she beats Mayu so Mayu doesn't have to be burdened with this stupid fucking belt she can't even figure out how to put it around her waist. She wears that on her neck. That's cool. Ah, she, she's confused. She, like, can't buckle it, so she just throws it over her neck. If she remembers to bring it. You it's finally cute. got Choo 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 going on. It's cute. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> so Mayu wins, right? Or does Sare win, and then she beats Julia, and she's like a double belt champ. Unification <laughs> with Mari Gold's champion. So Bushi Rose is gonna be like, "Fuck you guys!" Or <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna take that and beat Mary Gold the 
I don't know. No, Sari's not touching this fucking IWGP belt. Or She's barely allowed to look at it. It's going to be a great match, but no way uh, Mayu loses. If Saray wins this IWGP belt and then Rossi like doesn't want to spend the cash, she's like, <laughs> this is just our world champ now. Dude, Apollo's might be just the genius. Mayu's winning. Well, I mean, would it be hilarious if she lost when her own movie is sponsoring the damn show? <laughs> it's that'd be that'd be some Vince booking right there. Her and it would also movie... have to be her birthday in her own hometown with her family in the crowd. Then she'd lose. But isn't her movie produced by the company producing this wrestling show? Yes, which means she should win. So she's the the <laughs> trying to be. So it'd be like if uh, I don't know, SummerSlam was just presented by Marine Seven. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> or WWE um, Star WrestleMania was brought to you by Prime. Tell me, I don't know. What, I don't know what Marine. Oh man, you're not even getting paid for that yet. No, but I would love to. That stuff's delicious. Uh, they put some kind of fucking coke in there because I can't stop. I can't stop drinking it. I don't. I want to. <laughs> they do not. I bought it because of WWE, and I stuck with it because of the addiction. They probably do not put cocaine in their fine products. But check out that check out that sugar content. Look at look. There's like two grams of sugar in that bad boy. There's no. Yeah. There's. No, I mean, there's a whole lot of chemicals and shit I can't pronounce, but no sugar. the main event oh my god finally (laughs) sayoriano hanan (sighs) cinderella i just i just filled the cup dream killer dude (laughs) i'm like i am so torn on this match that i actually i i wanted to gauge the temperature of the room if you will and i threw this out in our in our discord um Sonofan.com if you need the link. And just to see what people thought. Because, you know, I did the whole loaded question. Who wins between Sayori and Hanan? And why is it Hanan? It turns out I am the only one who believes that Hanan wins. <laughs> <laughs> However, there was some great takes. Um, someone that goes by uh, May is a balloon goblin. And our one of our hey, favorite my... Savage basically told me that uh, not now. But maybe, you know, Hanan, you know, in December. I'm thinking if Hanan does not win, which she probably doesn't, this is the perfect time to literally start rebook um, the the Shuri, my favorite storyline of Shuri versus Utami, and just, like, have this be a draw. Just have them draw all the way every time they fight each other until December and then just have a no-limit match. Every Queendom pay-per-view? Hanan can't. Hanan can't lose. Hanan's be too strong right now to lose to Sayori, and Sayori's just so fucking cool. She probably shouldn't lose. So I think their first meeting should be a draw. Hmm. And anyone in the chat, please let me know who you think's going to win this. Uh, watching, put it in comments. Listening on the podcast, put it in the comments. Go to the Discord. Let us know who's going to win these matches and why is it going to be Hanan? Twitter says Hanan. Um, I was trying to find something. Oh, maybe I'll find it here. I saw it's something from. It was interesting because it's you know they do like they're they it's building it's, to pay per views. Two Cosmic Angel rookies are looking fantastic. Oh God, I wish I know where it was. Uh, it was interesting if I could find like the Juno. Do you have any thoughts? I just went on a rant where I lost my breath. Yeah, Sayori and Hanan is breaking my brain. Like, I obviously knew it was going to happen when Hanan won the Cinderella with Cinderella Hanan, but... Oh, it's here it is. You know how, like, building up Fuck. to a show on the... how like That's a great match. Like, they'll do tag matches where it's, like, the red belt champ and the white belt champ and the... Uh, hello? I can't hear you. Oh, uh, why not? No, that's... I can't, I can't no. talk to you and do kiss, kiss, kiss at the same time. Raymond. Well, that's, that's disappointing. Time limit draw seems likely. Ah, oh. kiss, 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 kiss. Damn, I can't do kiss, 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 and talk at the same time. I was. I <laughs> I'm not. Oh, did is it was it like what your virtual mic or your regular mic? That must have been it. Yeah, Juno, your thoughts? Because Raymond, hello, 
for stopping in. It chimes in and says, time limit draw is likely. Like, I'm not really sure it's likely. I probably, like in my heart of hearts, think Sari winning is likely. I want Hanan to win. I'd be, like, I would almost expect or like a draw. But I, can, um, I don't know. Sari probably wins straight up, right? Maybe. But Hanan, she's too strong right now. I mean, it's finally the year of Hanan. Let's go. But you know how, like, when they're building Happy up... Happy Girl Sunshine. Um, um, couldn't carry any... Couldn't care any less. How does that go? Miss you, Happy... No idea. Go, Sunshine. It's in my... I don't life. know why they changed the, the old song. Because I, I knew the lyrics to the old song. H-A-N-A-N. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's in my own language, and I feel like they change the lyrics every time she comes out. <laughs> She's got 37 different versions of that song. But you know how, uh, like, leading up on these house shows, like, the main event, I assume it's the main event, but they'll do, like, the red belt champ and the white belt champ and, like, whatever other champ teaming up versus, like, whoever they're going to face in the pay-per-view. And they'll yes. do those tag matches. Has that been happening? Do I got to fucking catch up? I don't know. I'll show this from. I just, I just thought... Huh, look, this is interesting now that, like, the dust has settled. Whoa. Stardom, like, 4.0 at this point. Like, look who's, uh, look who they're pushing hard. Whoa. Now, when, when is that show? <laughs> Today. More of that, please. All right, I gotta go. I got Taylor Swift to listen to and this main event to watch. But... I was trying, I was like confused to be. I'm like, why is Natsu Poi not teaming with because her friend? It just means Poi's going to end up going against Mayu at some point because Momo's going to be the new Red Belt champion and Hanan's going to be the new White Belt champion. Well, it's like we got uh, for, get... for those of in audio, we're looking at a main event, like a, like a, like a preview match of Mayu Iwatani, Micah it. and Sayori versus Hanan, Momo Watanabe, and Natsu Poi. Bobo's yeah. not gonna want to team with any of these women. She's just gonna hit, hit. She's gonna hit her own teammates with baseball bats. Well, it makes sense. Hanan on one side, Sayori on the other side. They're facing off on the pay per view, and then you got Momo yep. on teaming up with Hanan. She's facing off against Micah. Like that makes sense. And then you got Mayu and Natsupoi and. They're it's like it just it just started it was throwing me through a loop for a minute trying to pick to get like why is Natsu Poi here? She's not she's not teaming with her tag team partner Sayori, which is weird. She's gonna be fighting her. I'm like, why is Mayu here? She's not teaming with any stars member, and which is Hanan is a stars member, obviously. So I mean, we got some matchups here that are pretty interesting. True, true, and then uh, then Micah. Micah is there. No, you got. I was trying to figure out like, what, what, oh, because Mayu is supposed is facing Sar Triple E, Triple E. She's facing Triple E, and she's not on this Stardom show, so they threw in Natsu Poi. But then I'm like, did they just wander in? Like, hey, can we can we fight in that match? That'd be super cool. I could also I'm see that for possibility. To just be replaced by Natsu Poi. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to figure that Mayu and Natsu Poi are like, we want to fight too. <laughs> But yeah, that was interesting. As for the match, I um, love that. I love that. I think it's a new stardom. It's a new day. Yes, it is. I don't know how the rest of that goes, but uh, we're gonna miss are you. you. Are you happy feeling? Are you feeling booty? Girl, sunshine. Oh. I mean, Soriano's probably gonna win. <laughs> oh, you! I have never got you. Holy shit! This show is live. What the fuck is this live for? It's live on Stardom World. They they haven't thought. Of, I just told you how their like their shows have been behind. Now they got Stardom and Kobe Beef. Maybe they're trying to push these shows out like leading up to the uh, pay per view. Awesome. Well, we, well, at least we got something to watch this week. Maybe they start putting them up live because they want to be able to like have the shows up before the pay per view. Yeah, it, yeah, that makes sense. Like you you can't have the build two shows. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come out after the pay per view's been aired. Main event. Champion. Micah. E Nexus V versus Challenger. 
Momo Watanabe, a Wado tie. World of Stardom <sighs> Championship match. I would love Momo Watanabe to win this match. Momo has been like the bridesmaid. Like, has she come in second place like 18 five stars in a row? Like, she's always so good yet can't finish. Let's just finish your story, Momo Watanabe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that meme? Like, every time someone wins a championship, they just add it to. There's like the photo of Cody crying at like WrestleMania 39. And then, like, every time someone wins a championship, they just add their photo to, like, the collage. I'm like, does it tra- does the curse transfer over? Like, is it now? Can we swap Mike in there? Now that Cody's finished his – like, whatever wrestler is just, like, hasn't won the big one yet, we just swap their face in. My – or, uh – Momo's never been a red belt champion, right? Just, like, one of the greatest white belt champions of all time? Just the greatest white belt champ of all time. Yeah, until Hanan gets it. So, well, no, I mean, get, get out of here. It's a proven fact that uh, Saya Kamatani is the greatest white belt champion of all time. It's, Momo's one of the greatest. True, true. She did have I an opportunity. Bet. She did have an opportunity to like shatter that record and she failed. How amazing would that have been? <laughs> Only not, to be, to be and you would that have been great if Momo was like, fuck you, Saya, you're not breaking my record. Not you amazing. You are right. That, that not, was brilliant they booking it up. and storytelling that they never tell. They screwed it up. Because <laughs> si, I don't know the number, but like, actually, I could have looked up the number. Uh, Did they quick. actually do the uh, match too early? Or was it too late? Because um, Momo had the no chan- was supposed to have the chance to stop Saya from like breaking her record or something like that, right? The defense record? Or was it the year record? Um, because Momo Watanabe had that shit forever when they were, she was young. So as far as days, so yeah, like Saya was up four hundred and eighty days, but no, not Reigns defenses. Yeah, so Saya with fifteen. Yeah, so Momo was had the record even over Io Shirai and Ariza, who are tied at ten. Momo Watanabe had thirteen defenses with his belt in three hundred and fifty eight days, which like wow, is more than one big match a month. <laughs> Just crazy. Well, in size defense, they were closed for like half a Dude, year. Dude, that's fifteen. <laughs> that's that's fifteen white belt matches in less than a year. Yeah, I wish I was watching it then. Twenty eighteen sounds like a wild time. But when Saya got to like ten, like Momo didn't get to face her, and when she got to twelve, like one below her, she didn't get to t- face her. When she was going for the record, she didn't get to face her. Like, no, I don't even want you to share my record. It was, I believe, the fourteenth ma- like defense. So it was like no, to what? beat it. I think it was to beat it too, right? Yeah. Maybe that's what they put more importance. I think it's like it doesn't matter if you pass the record. It's like I have the record. I don't want you getting the rec- like tying me for the record. I should get the opportunity. Either way, I think that's all great storytelling. And Regardless, made for a great match. They never told that story. <laughs> well, we told the story. I mean, that's what we do as Stardom fans. We told the story. We knew why it was happening, which is also brings me back to the futures. How does, who does Hanan hire to stop Rena from breaking her record? Hina's return. Hmm. And then the blood, uh, Hina becomes part of the Hanan bloodline. Triple H did see this new chapter of the bloodline is going to surprise some people. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, there's Tamatanga. They left Tangaloa and the the other big brother to wrestle with ELP, so that's okay. You never know. He he said it's going to be very surprising. People are going to be very interested in this new bloodline. Do we see a crossover? Do we see Hanan and her two (laughs) sisters put that finger up with the wise man? Who knows? I Triple want... H is Triple H is he does have the Joshi bug. Just saying. <laughs> Six months ago, he said, "I don't even know what a Joshi is." And then what he is that? What, a, what, what is, is a Gulia? And then he looked her up. It's like, oh, I'd like to know more. <laughs> and then he called his good friend Kenny Omega, and then he he had a class. It's like Cody. What is this? What is this Joshi stuff all about? And Cody's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't here's know. here's Kenny's number. <laughs> you like Street Fighter? 
<laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. I, like, I'm not sure you'll be able to talk to him, but you can probably get on his Twitch stream, say, "Hey, this is the H." Maybe he'll answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know the main event? Are we gonna have no title changes this entire pay per view? Oh, well, we did say that uh, Carrara is gonna win, but that's probably not happening either. <laughs> no, I think there's gonna be one title change, and I think it's the red belt. Oh. The red belt has been changing hands a, a lot. Like it's been a while since we had a long run. When was the last long run? Shuri's, because then Julia lost, you know, one and then lost it promptly, and it's been sort of going from there. I think Momo Watanabe gets this belt, and Momo holds this until we can grab a good feud. Which I still think Tam Nakano deserves her. Excuse me. Tam Nakano still, you know, deserves a chance just because she never lost it. But yeah, I think I just want to keep pushing E Nexus Venus, but Micah is the weakest member. So I Momo Watanabe, right, chat? I don't know, man. You're you're missing your... you're missing like the big money the big money match build of uh every single every once in a while, every house, every couple of weeks, like Mina Shirakawa just like starts eyeing up that belt, gives her a little smirk, starts patting her on, starts hand, starts grabbing the belt from the ref and handing it to Mina. Maybe she hangs on to it a little longer than Mike and Mina than Micah wants her to. That's a big so money you, match, right so there. So you thinking there's going to be an E Nexus Venus Civil War and Mina has to start her fourth faction in a year? All Star Dream Queendom. <laughs> A new... She's going to be like, I'm going to name my new faction Marigold. Wait, Taken? Shit. <laughs> and then she jumps ships to Marigold and drops that belt in the trash. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Mina. She can it be like, so. yeah, Mina, Mina takes it to AEW. <laughs> she's Fucking gonna... crackhead Tony Khan looks at it. He's like, when did our belt turn into a star? That's okay, weird. You I didn't like, like it. You didn't like <laughs> When did, I, yeah, when did our women's champion get so good? <laughs> Dude, like, you might not like a Zuby, but, like, yeah, I could picture him watching uh, fucking Collision. He was like, wow, this is the best women's match ever. When did we sign oh, her? She's, oh, she's not ours? <laughs> Dude, like, fucking stardom being in, in America was the best thing that happened to AEW for a whole week. That's like a... <laughs> That's like a Vince, a Vince thing where it's like he would just watch people wrestle and like, man, this kid's good. It's like, we should sign him. And like, okay, Vince. And they don't tell him he's been signed for three years. <laughs> Tony just never watches the women's wrestling. He's like, man, that Mina. It's like, I'm glad we signed her. All right. Well, if you didn't like. I was like, oh, no. Wait, wait. Who's that girl fucking making out with Mariah May? I... <laughs> well, if you. Where'd she come from? If you don't like, if you don't think that's a big match of Mina just teasing that she wants this, uh, her tag team partner's belt, how about um, Mina needs to take that belt from Micah because apparently Mariah May likes women with like big shiny belts. If Tony Storm's a world champion, she's got to be a world champion. That's good too. So Mina has to win back Mariah May. By a belt. Doesn't mean to have a belt right now. Not Isn't a world she, like, championship. A champion? She's the world artist champion. It's not a world title. <laughs> For five dollars, she could be the world of stardom fan champion. True, true. <laughs> I'll send me a belt made of <laughs> cardboard. <laughs> I'll send her. What do I send her? All my loving. That guy. Juno, who do you think wins that belt? Andrew Richardson, super producer number two, says, let Momo win this thing. And then Tam wins it at the next big event. Boom! Get your belt back, Tam. Tam Nakano is wrestling Aja Kong because she doesn't know who's cuter. So that's what she's been she's up to recently. <laughs> What are the chances Poi like gaslit her? Like, listen, I was watching these shows in Philadelphia and that Aja Kong, I, th I think she was at like 
a Hall of Fame. She's like Hall of Famer Kawaii. That's <laughs> basically even more than the universe. <laughs> Gaslitter. Yeah. Because like, listen, I know we've sung some some sung some songs together. When's but. the new When's the new Meltier album coming out? Oh my God, was that today? Pearl Jam, Taylor Swift, and Meltier. <laughs> that would have broke my brain. Also, I don't. Is this? I don't know if it says Micah wants this to be a uh, like a last woman standing match, ten counter knockout only. Whoa. Is that a thing? Um, and then Okada says, we'll be in a regular, we'll be an irregular best of three match. And the first person to win two will win. So it'll be a best of three falls match. Oh, that's so cool. So what's going to happen is Mike is going to kick the shit out of her with her baseball back, get disqualified, and then get two quick wins because she's still unconscious. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Just keep, just keep beating on her. Like, Cause you get like a minute in between like the bells, right? Isn't that like, yeah. The yeah. So you kick the shit out of her. She's unconscious. And then all of the a way tie jumps, jumps in the ring is beats on her for a whole minute. Yeah. And Mel tear comes in for the save, but while their music's playing to come in for the save, they're too busy dancing. So they don't get there in time. <laughs> By the time they get to the ring, the minute's over. <laughs> No, well, it's just, uh, well, wait, she's not a cosmic angel. Waka will get to the ring real damn quick. Oh, yeah, but she's already, no, 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 it's the main event. Waka's got the bubbly going in the back. She's party planner. Mm, so she's not going to be there. So, okay, but by the time mm-hmm. that by the time that it takes Hanako to get to the ring, she's going to do her King Kong roar, and it's going to scare off all of a Wado tie. <laughs> like, a kai- like a kaiju. She's just going to scare him away. So we just had like that fucking shitty King Kong movie just came out. That'd be amazing if Tam was. It was like Mothra, King Kong, uh, Aja Godzilla, Kong versus Aja Kong, Tanaka, Mel, <laughs> Mel <Tier. laughs> I would pay money for a movie where somehow Natsupoi is like a kaiju and she's a hundred feet tall. <laughs> That'd be great. Nazi boy versus Godzilla versus what was, Kong. What if I was to tell you that our boy Dream just threw in chat? Just amazing how things work. Exactly one year ago today, 420 last year. <laughs> that makes sense. The Meltier album dropped. Huh. Oh, sorry, I saw uh, this. I thought this was who uh, Momo Koga. No, that's not her. I'm trying. I'm trying. The Mo- the Momo Koga character in the Mayu movie. Let's see. Oh, also. That oh, that's why. I- this this chick. This is who Koga is supposed to play. I like it. Fuka. Um. Shit. Had something else. Juno, because. We're going to start. I, I just want to close this out for podcast purposes. Everyone in the chat, thank you for hanging out with us, everyone. Thank you for listening. Our last few coffee donations of uh, Raymond. Still, thank you. That was very generous. The Rainbow Warrior, very generous. And on the patron, Patreon, the Twilight Dream. I don't know why I remind them because they'll probably like be like, oh my god, I still throw these guys a dollar? But you <laughs> are a Stardom Fan fan, and I thank you for that. And Jake Ebert is the world of Stardom Fan champion. Alright, now we can. Because I, I just want to get that out of the way because I feel a rabbit hole coming. I threw a kiss, kiss, kiss in there. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Oh, I had to mute. I, I was hearing an echo, so I actually had to I had to mute your other screen. That's why. <laughs> Released on. Yo, yeah. just buy that. It, the album's two nineteen. Buy that son of a bitch. I Can I get like... a hard copy, like a CD? Can we get that shit on vinyl? Photo book. Choo choo choo. Once we buy it, we're allowed to use it for, in perpetuity for the podcast, right? I'm sure that's not how it works. All right. <laughs> Just put... <laughs> they have three songs, these fucking assholes. 
<laughs> and I, I'm sure at least three of them, they don't actually sing. Released on 4-19-23. Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was close. So, it either, because we started, like, before midnight. So, it's <laughs> yeah, either, yeah. or this is, like, 419 in Japan, which is actually 420 in America. Cheers. So, you're right <laughs> either way. Composer. Various composers. <laughs> Main artist. <laughs> Meltier. Genre. Pop, rock, slash pop. 2023 World Wondering Stardom. Bushi Road Music. Bushi Road Music, Inc. On sale now. 1989 <laughs> Taylor's version. Speak now. Right, Taylor dude. Swift. Red Taylor Swift. 1989 Yo, again. Taylor's version. Yo, so, she's a genius. Wow. She's got... So and it, I, for what it's worth, I got all 85 versions on vinyl in my house right now. Like I can't, I can't help it. I, I, I have to uh, help. You know, it's for my daughter. I love. I'm a Swifty. <laughs> I was like, hey, Michaela, do you want the new Taylor Swift CD? Oh, the, how about the vinyl? Do you want it signed? Okay, it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> if if we make our own cover of it, we're allowed to use the song, right? You know what we do is we all right. So we get the song and then we run it through one of those like eight bit filters, so it sounds like a NES video game. That's cool. That's oh, okay. I got a project this week. <laughs> <laughs> the the Meltier album, or even just like uh, the Twilight Dream song in <laughs> eight bit, all in MIDI. Yeah, there's a filter for that. I'm, there's got to be. That sounds amazing. I want it. I do recommend someone did the whole entire Weezer Blue album, and uh, it's called like Eight Bit Weezer. Very clever, but it's hilarious. It's literally every song redubbed in like Eight Bit NES sounds. It's wild. I want to take. I want a Natsu Boy <clears throat> filter. I want to take the whole Weezer album, and it's just poi 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 poi. Or just replace the Smurfs, right? So I just Smurf the Smurf out of that Smurf. It's like, I just poured the point out of that boy. <laughs> That's one of my funniest uh, clips from Family Guy. It's like, you know you know Smurfette? I just Smurfed her at the parking lot. Smurf way? No, no Smurfing way. He goes, yeah. He's like, Smurf, yeah. Smurf, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. She's the only uh, chick in the whole village. And there's a lot of Smurfs. She's not even a Smurf. She's like a fake Smurf. She was created by the bad guy. She's created by Gargamel, but he gave her a heart. Why does he need? Work. Does it not just does, does do, do Smurfs created in a lab not taste as good as like? The, well, he wanted. Does he want the, the Smurf deep. berry? At first, I thought he wanted the Smurf berries, but he's like big as hell. Just go take the, the the little berries. Like he wants to eat the Smurfs, right? Or does he want their magic? I forget. No, the cat wants to eat the Smurfs. He wants the Smurf berries. Yes. I think My brain it. was messing up, too. Originally, I thought Gargamel wanted to eat the Smurfs, but you're right. The cat, Asriel, 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 wants to eat the uh, eat the Smurfs. And he just wants the berries, those juicy, juicy berries. So he I... can create a Smurf, but he can't fucking plant a berry? No, because they're like little tiny little things. Like, you need, the, I don't know. Maybe you just... Maybe it's an allegory for slavery. He's always trying to capture the Smurfs. How about the Fraggles? Are you old enough to remember the Fraggles? Because they had Gozers, and the the Gozers were like the guys who would fucking do all the constructions, (laughs) and the Fraggles would come around and just eat their shit. They would just, like, eat their bridges and stuff like it was food. Like, yo, like they're making their bridges out of licorice. Like, yo, we just worked all day on this, and you're going to eat it? What about uh, the Snorkels? Oh, are you going to (laughs) snorkel? The Snorkels? I think yeah. it's snorkel. Well, they they are snorkels, but they're the they're they're the oh, snorks. They're the snork. But I think they are snorkels. Boy, I barely remember that. That's weird. I I do always say you're the fucking oldest young man I know. <laughs> That's fantastic. The snorks. Anyways, I recommend uh, listening to the the song "Flowing" by Meltier. It's actually a good song. Can we listen to it and not have a copyright strike? No. <laughs> Damn it. 
All right, I'll, I'll listen to it later. Is it on Spotify? I mean, we can listen to it, right? We can listen to their whole album. Yeah, but I don't want to. I'd okay. like to keep our advertising up <laughs> for more than 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, Andrew Richardson's old like me. He knows. The Dozers, these poor guys. Dozers. Snorks. These are things. No, that, like, Fraggles. <laughs> Fraggles. <laughs> and then there was the real life because then there was the old guy and he had his dog Sprocket. And Sprocket always saw the Fraggles. And uh, and then they had uh, Uncle Traveling traveling Uncle Matt or something like that. He used to travel the real world and send letters. Oh, man, this is all coming back to me. <laughs> what about... Um, now we're just I got to remember this, too. This is going to be the our new lores. Like, I, I, I know I have some Fraggle comics, too. <laughs> what about uh, Gozer from Ghostbusters? There is, oh, I haven't watched, um, I think I'm going to watch the, um, yeah, I couldn't figure out if Gozer was sexy or not. She like, looks she's like the, terif- she's terrifying, but in a good way. She looks like the couple from Rocky four. If they like fuse together, they'll see. <laughs> there Let's is see the... no Dana, only Zool. Let's I mean, where... Dana's obviously sexy. Or she just kind of looks like Dolph Lundgren, actually. <laughs> 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 So the answer is yes. There is no Gozer, only Dolph? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you need a side-by-side of that picture. I mean, have you not done a video of that yet? That is good. Um, uh, go. <laughs> aim for the flat top. <laughs> you do the aim for the flat top scene, and then you put the splice in the end of Rocky, him punching him out? That's amazing, dude. <laughs> I mean... They're kind of the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can, like, how hard is it good? To, how hard would it be to filter red eyes on that fucking boxer? <laughs> Even I can figure that out, dude. Oh my god, that's amazing. The new Ghostbusters movie kicks ass. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna. I'm so far behind on movies. Last week, me and the kid watched um, the Batman, which was pretty good. Although I thought um, that the Twilight Batman was way more emo as a Bruce Wayne than I expected, but it was still a good movie. And then I think we're going to watch the last, the newest Ghostbusters other than the one in theaters. So I can, so I can play catch up that I have to, I haven't even watched the super Mario brothers movie. So I got some catch up to do. See, they start throwing new into the titles and then it gets annoying. The super Mario's movie brothers movie or the new super Mario brothers or the new super Mario brothers movie called super Mario. The one that was good that just came out like last year. How come all the photos? I'm trying to find this very specific or not a type of Tam photo. Like they've been. How does she Tam scrub with the flat top? Yeah. How does she scrub things from the internet? Like all the photos of her like after a match where she's like, <laughs> where her face is blown up and like half melted. Yeah, they're they're not on the internet. Like this is a close one. <laughs> all right, now hear me out. Like Tam at. What the fuck? <laughs> That's, she looks evil. <laughs> All right, this is still one of the better picks, like, after a match. All right, Tam, after a match? I see the comparison. <laughs> Go, <Gozer. laughs> now Zool. you got to get, now you got to get, like, Tam's face, like, in between the horns being pet. <laughs> That's good. Wow. This is really, you're like, let me say our thanks to our Patreons because this is going off the rails. I, I could feel it coming, Juno. I don't oh, know what to tell you. I found it. <laughs> ah, it's still like a better. She looks yeah, like, um. You know, fu- pick a Julia match where they punch each other in the face for fucking 35 minutes. These All 10 bucks. Ultra Ego, Vegeta. Nah, he looks like <laughs> I like it's it's always funny when like in there we go. Let's get this fo- this Tam Nakano. <laughs> <laughs> now that looks pretty similar. That's pretty funny. And it's kind of so ultra ego Vegeta. Like the more he gets beat up, the stronger he gets. 
Like Tam? Yeah. And then also, like uh, Vegeta, uh, Tam is also training to be a destroyer god. Oh, someone already did the work for me. Oh, those oh are, shit. Uh, those, those are hearts. <laughs> it's so terrifying. What the fuck? Well, as um, the Key and Peele guy, I don't, I don't know which Key and Peele guy does like the the movies, but he said the only thing that's not, the only difference between comedy is, and horror is the music. Huh. <laughs> it's like that's the difference between scary movie and the the spoof ones. Makes Sca- sense. Scary movie or or uh, and uh, scream. Scream, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scream is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so so used to all the pop culture's gotten confused. <laughs> I'm looking for Tam. I'm the plug. Let me think. God, he's finding his his Tam photos right now. Like you gotta show that. <laughs> See, like this he's, photo. He's probably blown up the Discord with it. Tam, this photo has been scrubbed from the internet because Tam doesn't want it there anymore. Is my opinion. All right, Juno. Yeah. I gotta, it's like one o'clock. I gotta call it a night in a minute. However, if you still want to shoot the shit. I mean, we could either dead scroll through Tam photos because I love that, or we could like play that fucking team fight tactics. The team. Fight. I can. I, I could do. I could do ranked now. My first game of ranked, I came in last place after coming in like first place during all my trials. So yeah, we could do that. What I'm hoping is, or that... we could play Fortnite. I love Fortnite. Do you oh. know? They have all the airbender stuff. You can do airbending and firebending and waterbending. I came in second place. It was me versus bitch who was, uh, I, I had the firebending scroll and she had the waterbending scroll and the waterbending so OP. I was hiding behind, I was, because I'm, cause I'm a coward. So I was like, hiding under, I was hiding under a shelf and then she was walking through and I was like, pa, pa, pa with the firebending. And then she like two shot killed me with the water bend, bending, too overpowered. Can this be a segment? Like, you explaining what the fuck Fortnite is? Dude. <laughs> Just write down your favorite. You were hiding under a shelf because you were fighting the Avatar, and then the fire didn't kill you, but the water did. Yeah, well, this is the new season, because last season I was, like, taking uh, Zeus's lightning bolts and, like, pow, 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 lightning bolts, and then when I land, I would take the chains of Hades and pull that motherfucker in. Oh, man. <laughs> So you were you were Kratos from God of War? Yeah, basically. And that's why I like the firebending so much, because my aim Whoa. is so bad. I like all the melee moves. You don't even have to scroll. Why does Tam Nakano, or why does this photo pop up when you search up Tam Nakano? Interesting. Marigold, Marigold probably did, the, did what you did and just copied Stardom's uh, tags. It works. I mean, if you search up WWE Lesbian, Marigold will probably show up too. I thought this was a Tam fan. <laughs> well, everyone's a Tam fan. She had no shit. Oh, I thought uh, they, <laughs> they did. Co- well, they did copy uh, Stardom because uh, she is a Mary Gold wrestler now. So they do have their own Tam Nakano. She's got to be crazy young, too, huh? Or crazy. So they got old. a couple of young ones, a couple of crazy old ones. Tam or the b- pretend Tam? I fear that the, the pretend Tam was young. Um, a Tam fan. That's for Catch sure. Boy? There's a lot of booze behind her. Empty. And it's all empty. What has she been doing? <laughs> I know it's the same thing. I'm like, boy, easy now. That's why her hair's a little disheveled. <laughs> the collar's a little off center. Like, well, before I get out to the match, oh, right, that main so... event, I still want. Yeah, that main event's gonna be really good. Apparently the show is happening now. God damn it! Um, oh, it's not gonna be on here, is it? Oh, they have never mind. I can find it through their YouTube. There was something. Yeah, let's play Fuck, a team. There we go. Let's play a team fight. No, but it did interest me. Have you read? Can you read skin team fight? Can we play in singles? Because I still want to be the reason you lose. I'm just happy. I, like, dude, it doesn't. On my own. It doesn't even matter. It's separate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because in doubles, like, there's all the trading and all that shit, and I'm like, I don't want to be the reason. You don't even have lose. to. You don't even have to do. That. I'll, I'll tell you what I need. Like, if I need like one more guy, I'll be confused. I confused too easy. What the hell? I'd see, I, dude, you start talking about Tam Nakano. Hey, look, Stardom fan, All Star, Dream Queendom preview. Cool. 
uh, you start talking about Tam Nakano, and like all of a sudden, like stuff gets censored from your your Google. <laughs> your Google, it's it's crazy. Everything has, instantly crashes. She has that power. Um, oh, we'll see them for this video. I just wanted to find their YouTube page for their press conference. Really, quick. there's when I was talking about. You tell me if you. Th- I mean, it's probably. F- I I think everything's real in wrestling. It's part of why it's so much fun for me. Um, you tell me if you think this is real. Like I said, I guess no. Like none of the people from the Act Wrestle Girls had contracts. I don't need dental, thank you. Uh, <laughs> had contracts, and then they all just showed up, or a bunch of their like more than half their roster, like eighty percent, just showed up here. Look at this fucking assholes. Um, happens at the end. Right here somewhere. If if playback doesn't start, well, playback did start. It says if playback doesn't start, restart your device. But it's playing, but it's not working. So that's great cost. That's great tech support. Huh. <laughs> his press conference thumbnail is just a photo of his face. If people want to see that, I want to listen to more Taylor Swift. Taylor. Oh my God! You're gonna be a Swifty by the time I'm done with you. Me and Twilight Dream are done with you. Wow. Oh. All right. It's <laughs> we don't need sound. What is that good for? AWG's champion vacated the belt to go to Mary Gold. Next big thing. Take this money marks money. Um Yeah. And the great here, they just got done with their press conference and they were only really advertising like the seven people you see. And then the rest of them just show up and I wanna believe that it's real because everything's real to me. Like, they just show up right at the end. <laughs> like, hey, hey, guys. Oh, they just showed up and magically, like, found a working microphone. You mark. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe this would be a work in stardom, but I have, a, a, these, these Marigold press conferences are real. <laughs> Who's the fucking, fucking seven foot tall girl at the end? That's what I want to know. I thought she was Momo Kogo the one the second one over for a minute. There's a real tall girl there. And the white at the on all the way on the right. Um I could show you. You wanna know I only know her that her and like the other big one that left from their most popular uh video. We're also going live against AEW Dynasty, is that a thing? Why was that shit popping up? cares dynasty is a terrible name for a pay-per-view i don't know why it's i hate it so much dynasty oh yeah oh so like half the roster left <laughs> but um this is their most popular act wrestle girl video what the hell's happening with youtube you got too many things going. Doesn't like you. I'm trying to load. Oh, here we go. I've been trying to load uh, Riot. <laughs> oh, this is playing. Sexy body contest. That's progressive. I mean, I'm not mad at it. This is where I stopped watching. <laughs> Whenever it was. Like, oh, I don't. Uh, be kind of rewind. I don't want to know where you stopped watching. <laughs> <laughs> that's where. You, that's where you're done. All right. While you're loading your shit, I'm gonna take a quick break. 
and then I'll I'll play a game, but then I gotta call it a night. Some people gotta work in like four hours. Oh, we'll just be watching Act Wrestle Girls. Maybe, maybe not. Wow, they fake their champion just left. Rossi, don't play. <laughs> yeah, he's been putting in some work. Why is this not loading? What's going on? What's happening? Start closing some stuff. Why does Steam need to open before it close it closes? I said close. Not open. Oh man. We'll blame Steam. やっちゃおうかな。いや、それ I broke. It. I've never seen that error with YouTube before. That was crazy. Xbox Gaming? Why is that on my computer? My computer's on Xbox. It's League of Legends' fault. <laughs> Now this stream is just, let's pretend it's sponsored by League of Legends. <laughs> sponsored by League. League of Legends, this new... <laughs> I look at your screen this and I see League of Legends. Is that, is that, the, new, is that the new character in League so, of Legends? I've been getting into League of Legends recently. <laughs> well, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> So they do the sexy body and then they have to like do a move on somebody? She does. I like a girl that can do a southpaw lariat in <laughs> heels. <laughs> oh, you said who's the tall girl? Uh, this is the tall This is the tall girl. That doesn't mean she can wrestle. Well, not yet. Oh, so that's the girl that beat up the. So that's the girl. She just. The girl taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, she like, just. You're taking a picture of me. She were She makes like minimum wage. Yeah, I think I think that's worth it. Or that's just a fan. Is that a fan? Like, is this a VIP? Like they get. This is their VIP privilege. Yeah, I'm good with that too. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. That's the a middle. nice stiff one across the across the chest. I like it. I know. And then, this is also one of the wrestlers that got signed. Where's the rest of her shorts? Mari Gold. I can't be comfortable. Probably not. Well, I've never tried it, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Finish up that bar at the top of the screen and fuck the Vita's pose. Juno addressing that for you. <laughs> that I would just be an. Then I just be like every like the other Twitch, like Twitch streamers. Well, yeah, I told you the only thing that's stopping us from being successful is that you're not wearing cat ears and you don't have tits. The legends load yet? What's going on? Oh, maybe I was loading the client. It's like any game that has a client, you know, must be amazing. Although to be fair, League of Legends has been like transferred six times. 
I'm actually playing off GeForce now. I do that thing where I like dial in and play over a server. So it actually can't do the checks and it thinks I'm cheating. So I, I don't know, but that's all right. I don't play any game. My computer's so fucking old. Like GeForce Now is awesome. It's that service where if your internet's good enough, basically you log into a server and you play off there. Like that's how I play like Fortnite and like games on my potato. Nice. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a neat system actually. They can sponsor us too. Prime and GeForce Now. <laughs> The only thing I'm missing is Mountain Dew doing Doritos. And then we can really game. Yo, why don't you just keep like these actress girls like bodybuilding thing in the corner or something? Can you can you split it? Can you do both? Because people keep coming and going here. People are gonna watch and want to watch this, not watch us play a fucking video game as we call it tonight. I mean, I want to watch this and not play a video game. Oh, <laughs> Ruben kidding. Barber came in. I didn't even say hello. I've said hello to everyone else. Hi, Ruben. If you're still here. All right. Well. Stay, if you want, if you guys want to watch us, just you know, just chat or whatever, and like watch <laughs> whatever plays. That more, if you want to watch more of this and League of Legends, whatever, I'm gonna stop my stream so I can, for whatever reason, let League of Legends load, and then I'll just, you, I'll start it again. That's cool, dude. Or we can just so, play in Discord if you, if you want. There we go. I kind of like it. I mean, we could all yeah, just jump over to the other chat too, but I feel like that's I gotta stop the stream or else for whatever reason riot. I'll, I blame League of Legends doesn't want to load, <laughs> so we'll be right change back. The, change the thing to play in League of Legends too. Is that a thing that you can do in YouTube, like in Twitch? Tell it you're playing a game. No, I don't think so. But really? I'll be, we'll be right. I feel like it should just start up again, <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know how it works, but 